kudawad bakol maal gashadayal mahalli ah iyo kuwa aalami ah ayaa muujiyay xisaha konton ka hektar ee loo qoondeeyay gobolka Nakuru ee gobolka ee aaga dhaqaalaha gaarka ah ee Sez ee Nivasha Mai Mahayu in kasta oo ay jiraan muran siyaasadeed oo ku saabsan adeegyada ka jira aaga oo sidoo kale u shaqeeya sidii dekada qalalan gobolku wuxu u guuray in uu dejiyo qorshe guud oo ku saabsan arimaha biyo gelinta iyo wadooyinka quudinta arintan ayaa sidoo kale ku beegantahay xilli uu gobolka ku dhawaaqay in uu todobaadyada soo socdo uu soo saari doono heshiisyo hoose oo la siinayo maalgashadayaasha soo bandhigay xisaha ay u qabaan sez oo ay hadda SGR ka shaqeeyso the socio economic zone the planning process is ongoing we had a joint uh, planning meeting with the ministry and we were able to get uh, participants give their views which we are considering and in a bit we shall be able to release the amended plan so that we allow investors now to start doing their work constructions and also bringing business into that area and in this season of politics we would be the last people and citizens of this country and the county to hear that it would move away from Naivasha. So we are graced as a technocrats to confirm to potential investors that that's a place to be and in a bit you get a, a plan that is permanent, amended and that has a capacity to hold all the interests of different uses including the hospitality industry, conferencing and many other businesses that were attracted when we called for investors. Thank According to the 50 acre parcel that we got as a county we were able to attract about 80 investors who have been vetted they have been given their letters of uh, confirmation and they will soon after the plan is approved they will be getting their subleases to start their work so any noble person knows how much has been spent on that uh, project by the national government and the impact it is bringing in our county so i don't think that is an area of discussion the point is how do we utilize what has already been invested there is already money that has been spent let's get value for that money that has been spent okay. majorly of course we have looked at the local scenario because we have potential investors within nakuru county but we are not fixed to that we have also considered uh, international investors who have had interest when we did the advert but remember beyond the 50 acres once the investors are on place and in that area they will attract investment opportunities even in the neighborhood in and the whole of the nakuru county so definitely it will also attract international investors tightering program we are proud that uh, we were given a target of 100,000 titles when we launched the presidential tightering program in 2018 As we speak we have surpassed we are about 250,000 and we believe by the closure of the next one month we shall have issued another 50,000 in different areas like tomorrow we will be in Rongai we'll be giving about 2,000 titles we saw CS Matiangi the other day issue another 100,000 100 titles in uh, Nakuru so we have surpassed and we believe that the government that is coming and we believe will be the same government will continue with the same program and make sure that the whole of Nakuru County is titled. Security of tenure is not a cause of any discussion because it's the attraction of investments. It is also where if we are becoming a county of development, titled land means that you can go and get some funds from banks. It means you can be able to sell, subdivide to your generations and therefore avoid conflicts and therefore of course development. From tomorrow you will also see in the next one week we will be giving charters to Molo and Gilgin that means so much in terms of development of nakuru county and the investment opportunities that everybody is looking for especially after the covid season when we are now ready to go back to serious business to the local residents one it definitely will attract a lot of funds from donors even the national cake must be shared to these areas in terms of improving infrastructure taking care of this population that has qualified them to be municipalities and also affirming them in terms of uh, let's say tightening programs kisip and so on and also to the investors we are sure now that you'll attract security because where there is municipality issues security is also up upgraded where there is a municipality status funds are available and with this kind of infrastructure the investors can be sure and comfortable putting their money in such areas uh, as a board 
uh, we know uh, the, municipal, uh, the industrial park is not within our uh, jurisdiction, but uh, being the municipality and uh, being within Naivasha uh, sub-county, we have been able to set in uh, a number of programs that are going to facilitate, especially uh, investors, because most of uh, the licenses are supposed to get from Naivasha. So we've uh, put in uh, processes that uh, will facilitate, will make it easier for them to be able to get their licenses, to be able to set up their businesses, to be able to set up uh, the constructions that they want to do. I know this is something that had already had been decided, that uh, we have the dry port in, in Naivasha. So, and, and it's complementary actually. It's not essentially that we, the services were moved from, from Mombasa. What happened is just, uh, just trying to facilitate, to ensure that the processes of clearing goods is, is easier, you know. So it's not that all the services were moved from Mombasa. No, Naivasha is just complementary to Mombasa.